Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video, I am going to show to you how to deploy an Android app in the Google Play Store in three steps. I am going to show you here how to prepare your app, publish it, update your app in the Google Play Console. And also, uh, in the later part, I am also going to show you how to troubleshoot some issues that you might encounter along the way. Before we begin, let me introduce myself. I'm JJ, founder of Tech Preppy, the home for tech-related insights, reviews, and discussion. And whether you're a seasoned developer or just starting out, this process can be a bit confusing. But don't worry, I'm here to guide you through every step. So let's begin. Number one, prepare your app. So before you can publish your app to Google Play Store, there are a few things you need to do. First, you need to make sure that you're able to successfully build and generate an Android bundle from your mobile app code. Those are the file that has a file extension of that .aab. So it's not apk because apk is the, the compiled file if you want to directly install it to your phone but submitting to Google Play Store will require you to submit an .aab. Whether you are using an open source development framework such as React Native or Flutter, then you should be able to generate an Android bundle. Also, if you are using a no-code tool or platform such as AppGyver, Flutterflow, or Andromo, or any other no-code tool, then there should be a way for you to generate an AAB or direct directly upload the AAB to Google Play Console. So here, I'm showing I'm using Flutterflow, and here at the bottom in deploying Google Play Store when you press the deploy to play store it will generate aab and apk so it's either you let flutterflow or your online no code tool to submit your aab to google play console or just download this aab file and manually upload it to google play console you can check my videos on how to create mobile app using this flutterflow no code tool which i'm going to put the link in the description below another thing you need to have is your google play developer account this is the account that you'll use to publish your app and manage your app in a google play store just go to play.google.com slash console and then you can create an account from there so here i'm going to show you how to create one so to create your google play console developer account you need to have your own gmail account so here i'm using techprepi.gmail.com and using this as a signing in user in my google play console it will detect that i don't have any google play developer account attached to my account it will first ask you what's the purpose of your uh of your account if this is going to be used by your organization it, or it will be just for you so here in my case let's select yourself and then here it is asking now how you describe yourself or your experience with play console or have you built managed or published any app before or do you have any experience creating or developing android app then here let's just uh type i'm beginner And then other Google accounts is it is asking me if I have a, if I have an existing Google Play account. Also here at the website, you can enter here if you if you have your own uh, portfolio website portfolio or if you don't have one. As mentioned here, you can use your so social media profile like Facebook. This will be used by uh, Google to verify your uh, identity. So once you enter your social media account here, the link, the URL, then you can click next. We're here now at the creation of your developer account. So now this is the continuation of your developer account registration. Here you will see that it's now asking for your developer account name. It can be anything, your contact name, your contact email address, your preferred language, contact address and contact phone number so basically this is for identification and then at the last part of this you will need to agree with the terms and condition of google play at the end you need to enter your credit card account 
this is for the purpose of paying the one-time subscription fee for Google Play Console which is around $25 so once you're done with that then you can you need to wait for some few it can be few hours or days for Google to verify your account in my case it just took some like two hours my Google Play developer account to get verified so now that we are able to register and create our Google developer account then it's now time to move to step two now that your app is prepared and you have your own Google Play developer account then it's time to publish it go to Google Play console and sign in using your Google Play developer account this is where you're going to upload your Android bundle that we have prepared in the step one and manage all aspects of your app including the store listing information pricing if there is an in-app purchase in your mobile app so be sure to fill out those necessary information so here i'm going to show you how to create one how to do that so first in your landing page in the all apps blade let's click create app now let's say that i'm creating a coaching app then I leave my default language as English and then here for the question if we, if my app is an is a game or an app I'm going to choose app then here for the free or paid I'm going to choose free so it says here that you can edit this until you publish your app once you have published it you can change a free app to paid and then here for the declaration you just need to check this to confirm that your app meets the, de the developer program pol policies and then here basically for this one this is just for you saying that you acknowledge that your app may be subject to united states export laws so i'm just going to check that let's click create app now that we're, we created the app in Google Play Console, now it's it's start of the testing. The very first step for your app to be published to production or to Google Play Store is to make sure that you have gone through testing. So here in the side panel, you will see that there's a lot of testing type here. There is an internal testing, closed testing, open testing, and the production. So it is suggested that you need that you should go at least one of this testing track so let's do by, do that by selecting internal testing and here you will see that it says here this is where you set up your internal testing track and it says here inactive it will be active once you finish all these tasks so let's first select the testers so for the tester you can create your internal testing group by just clicking this arrow and then creating a new one so let's say i'm creating a testing group for coaching app and then for the email you can just add your google play account if if you will use the same account in testing this app so let's type here my gmail then press enter now it's added here in the email addresses that has been added let's click the save changes there you go and then here you can provide your feedback url this this is the email that will be used to receive some feedback from the testers so i'm just going to type here my email and another option is that you can provide a link but uh, i'm just good with uh making that techpreppy gmail.com as my default tester so let's save everything now it is saved let's now refresh this page okay so as you can see now we're done with one of the three tasks it says here one of three complete and the select tester 
has been strike out already or there's a strike through already now let's go to the create and roll out release so here this is the page where you will upload the android bundle that we created in this step one so let's just select upload okay so i already uploaded the uh, app release.aab that's the name of my app when i generated it okay now it has been uploaded as you can see here it's a, it is showing now the app bundle that we have uploaded and it says it's version 1.00 and now we're good okay the release name by default this is what was displayed one then 1.00 that's fine we leave it as it is and then the release note since this is our first time to upload our android bundle we update this one let's type first submission to google play store and then let's hit next okay now here at the create internal testing release it's there is a uh, three warnings we can view that normally if it's warning then you can just ignore that maybe there is a, a setting that you just need to update in your app but as long as it is warning and not error then you can just ignore it for the meantime okay then let's click the start rollout internal testing let's click rollout and there you go so basically what will happen now is it will be available to when you check google play store and then search for the coaching app you should be able to see the app as long as it has been reviewed by google so as you can see it says here that it is, is still unreviewed and it will go through some review process of google it will check if your app is working or it will check also if you're missing some settings which we're about to do next so now let's go to dash dashboard and then as you can see this is our coaching app and here you can there's a link here to set up your app so let's view the task as you can see these are all the tasks that you need to complete for Google to approve your account. So this is like setting up of your privacy policy. This is where you need to provide a URL to the PDF file or a website that is showing your privacy policy. A sample of a privacy policy is something like this. You can go to your GitHub account and then upload a PDF file there with your uh, privacy policy. And then just copy the URL and then just paste that URL here. So let's save it. And then let's go back. So as you can see, it says here 1 of 11 com completed. So you need to answer everything here. So next thing is the app access. You need to select what are the access that your app needed to work in the mobile. And then the ads, you need to inform google if your app has an ads and then content rating there's a survey or questionnaire that you need to answer to make sure that you're not that the rating of your app is for general public or is it only for adult so those things so make sure that you answer everything and then here at the bottom is the setup your story listing this is the part where you will give a description to your application and this is the description that will be displayed in the google play store the short description the full description and also the screenshots of your application basically that's it so you just need to wait for google to approve your account so normally it will take the fastest uh, approval days is actually around one week and then the longest is actually it took me one month for Google to approve it. And that's it for publishing your, your app to Google Play Store. Now let's move to step three, which is updating your app. So if it is your first time to submit an app to Google Play Store, then 
there is a chance that your app will be rejected but don't get discouraged as, as that is normal in my experience it is usually that the reviewer or the tester from google is either looking for a missing information that i forgot to fill in like i forgot to give the link to my privacy policy in terms of use and i forgot to answer some of the tasks there i forgot to complete it and the worst experience actually it's my fault is that my app got rejected reason is my app is basically deceptive as what uh, actually it is going to do again if your app gets rejected then don't panic google will provide an explanation why your app got rejected so as an example i'm going to show you one of my app so here this is an example of my app so here my, the name of my app is repel mosquito by sound and the status of this is app rejected now let's go to policy let's click this one so as you can see here it says that it got rejected because of the deceptive behavior and then let's click this arrow to view details so here you go there's a lot of details here saying uh the date it got rejected and the violation i violate and here it's showing how i can fix it so it will send a detailed information to my email but basically what uh google said says here is that so as you can see it says repel mosquito by sound so technically uh it's not proven yet that you can repel mosquito by sound so though that's how google deem it as a deceptive app so actually google mentioned here that maybe i can rename my app or just upload a new app basically that's how google and then once you're done with that you can just uh update the release or create new release by going to the release overview and then click one of these release so let's click this release details and then here you can actually upload a new bundle or it's better to just create a new app in my case so let's say your app application got approved so you will know that your application got approved when it, it is not showing anymore that it is under review so what you need to do is click one of the release so i have now internal close and open testing those are my test track and then let's say instead of having a rejected the status let's say it says uh approve you can just go here to promote release click it and then click production basically you will have a new release wherein you will just upgrade the test track or the visibility of your app to from preview from a testing track to production and then just hit next and there you go so once you're up once your app get approved normally it's for the succeeding update it will be faster it will take some it will just took you an overnight for google to approve your account and that's it for this video on deploying an android app in google play store i hope you found it helpful and are now confident in your ability to publish and manage your app in the store as always if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more great content thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video